department had their opening night up in the Heights this past weekend. This musical takes place in the largely Dominican American neighborhood of Washington Heights in New York City. This is such an amazing showing of a great Hispanic neighborhood in Washington Heights. It's so universal. It's got love affairs, it's got dreams, it's got hopes, it's got the lotto. This is a, a great piece of theater and it's so positive and uplifting and it's so heartwarming. Besides being a heartwarming show, In the Heights brings a lot more to the table. You may have heard about Hamilton, the musical written by Lynn manuel Miranda that has recently hit Broadway by storm. First time I'm thinking past tomorrow. Before Hamilton, Manuel wrote In the Heights, which has received several Tonys, including Best Musical in 2008. And what separates these musicals from the others? It's out there. There's rap, there's hip hop. Um, you don't come to a musical and expect to hear the music you're about to hear and I think it's very refreshing and I think there are going to be a lot of audience members that will come not expecting what they get and loving what they get. Cast and crew members have worked on this show since February. Costumes, lighting, set and cues had to be just right. And on top of that, actors needed to get into character. It's different in a, in a sense of that I'm portraying somebody of that's Latino, that I'm Latino and he's from the Dominican Republic. It's my, my culture, it's my language. Uh, being the narrator of the whole show, I think that there's high expectations, but um, I'm excited to take on that, that role and, you know, it's going to be a heck of a journey. In the Heights is open for one more weekend at the Santa Clarita Performing Arts Center right here on campus. For more information, visit the Canyons website. I'm Sammy Gebers, reporting for Cooper News.